Please read it for me. A fire apple every hour. How many apples has she at the end hour? Yeah, so what are important information here? Fire apple every hour. Five apple, but what else is important? Every hour. Yes, this is an important one. Five apple every hour. Now, how many apple has she eaten? At the end hour. So, how will we structure this? How will we label everything? Hmm. Should we use a tape diagram, or should we use a table diagram, or should we use um a number box? Should we? Okay, so three forms that we learn, right? We number bond, a number tape, bond. or table. Mama, I did a we um what the table talk about? Table. Remember, if we have like. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we can use a table to represent the day. We don't have any day right here. But we have... Um... How do we represent three hours? Mm. Then a book No, we can use a table for No. That. Look, we can use hour one. I got a number one. Hour two and hour three. Number one are for easy stuff like you know, oh, you're going to do addition or you're going to do subtraction with two numbers. But that one, no three number, that one, it's a five plus three. That's a two number. See, that's where you're wrong. It's saying three hour. That means you have to think, there's hour one, there's hour two, there's hour three. You cannot add five apple and three hour. That doesn't make sense. You have to add things that are the same. Apple with apple, fruit with fruit, shoe with shoe, not apple and hour. See? That's why when you have to when you think about it, you have to think what are they telling you? So they're talking about different hours. They're talking about hour one, hour two, and hour three. If there's a hundred hour, that's different. Okay? Right. So I cannot do one hundred hour. You can, but you just use a different math. But right now they're saying, see, so we know that in hour one, how many apples did she eat? Five apple. Five apple. How about hour two? Five apple. Five apple. Mommy. How about hour three? Five apple. Five apple. You see this? So five plus five equals ten. Ten plus five equals fifteen. See? Is that the same as five apple plus three hours? Mm, no. No. And it's a five times three. That's right. Good job. Uh, three it's the same. times five. Or three times five. Exactly. So you can see that when you start representing information in a format that you understand, then you will be able to do a multiplication. Not that. You'll be able to solve the problem correctly. You Not see? The multiplication. Yeah, then you will know if you should add, if you should subtract, if you should multiply, or later on if you should divide. There's a divide? Yes. I cannot do that right now. Not right now, but you will. So you can see, you can see that, right? So right. you have to learn, you have to read it, and you have to know what they're talking about, and you have to represent it in a way that you understand it so that you can solve it effectively. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this is the first one.